Hi guys, this is going to be quite a brief lesson, basically just covering a few aspects of network safety and security issues. How to be safe on a network, how to be secure on a network, whether it's a local network or a, a global network. So first things first, how are networks secured? Well, I mean, you will cover some of these in other topics in computer applications technology, but we should know already by this time about firewalls. We use firewalls to block access to certain things. We have usernames and passwords so that you can log onto a network. And once you've logged onto a network, we also have administrator rights or various user permissions that you may or may not have. We also have some lovely things like OTP. OTP stands for one-time PIN. A one-time PIN means that you get sent a code to your phone and you have to type that code in in order to log in further onto a network. Uh, more than one-time PINs, we also have 2FA or two-factor or multi second two-factor authentications. I'm going to try to say it again. 2FA means second factor authentication. That's what it means. So you authenticate once with a password, then you authenticate again with a code or a specially generated code with an app on your phone to further confirm your login details. And multi-factor authentication is just like one-time pins, 2FA, it could also be fingerprint scanning, stuff like that. So it's multiple levels of authentication. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, user privileges, you will have a specific level of access to any network depending on your username and your password. So that's network security. And we all know about this. We come across this every day. How about using a network safely? So how do we protect our networks or how can you protect your network at your school or your library or a community center well first of all guys the obvious one don't leave your computer unlocked because anybody can have access to whatever is available don't share usernames or passwords ever ever okay don't use public hotspots for banking or any network activity. Just don't use a public hotspot unless it's just general ledger stuff. But even then, you've really got to be safe. Okay. Don't reply to messages that require you to provide private details. Don't do that, please, because that is the, the number one way that hackers get into networks is by literally just getting someone to reveal their information. Once that information has been received, the guys are in the network before you know it. Please be careful. So there you go, network security and network safety.